How's it going everyone? It's the Mercenary back with a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be having our first impressions of the Shattered Space DLC on Starfield. Let's get started, shall we? So first thing I want to mention is that I'm a uh, Starborn Gen 2. And secondly, I am a level 100. So whatever level requirement that they mentioned that a player should be before proceeding to the Shattered Space DLC, that they be a level 35. Well, fortunately for myself, I will be on that. <laughs> and also because I wanted to get the achievements for this game done before the uh, Shattered Space DLC came, uh, this was kind of more or less a faster way to get to level 100 rather than trying to like fight through space and like whatever like means of like dogfighting against the Crimson Fleet and other factions. That by doing the uh, farming here that you probably see built up right here is was, was my fastest way of getting um, to level 100 the fastest, the quickest. But uh, I didn't go beyond there. But as long as the achievements were all collected before the Shattered Space, that's all I cared about. But now to try and get to the um, the quest, which I believe starts with one small step, needs to happen at some point here. Um, yeah. So I will uh, I will skip to the next clip here in the next segment when I actually get that quest up and going. All right, so now that we're in outer space here, there's a few things that is a bit off-putting on this side of the game of Starfield. So I'm playing on the Xbox side. I do have this on the Steam as well. And I did happen to build myself a uh, really badass uh, ship fighter, which is known as the Mantis. And it's respectfully feared as such. And um, right now I'm doing the uh, Crimson Fleet Banshee, I believe. I mean, this thing's got, uh, you know, enough firepower to take on even the most um, damning ships, too. But the fact of how fast this Mantis that I built from a video that I watched is, like, second to none. So, right now, I'm just looking out for an opportunity called One Small Step, which I believe happens to do with... Uh Did, yes, you need me? Of course. Are you ready? Being, uh, being the Shattered Space is uh, surrounded by Veyrune. Or at least the idea of it. I should have the right follower for that. So. Let's continue our creepy... Athira, hold on. You are strong. Concentrate. I'm trying, Sarai. But it's getting worse! I can feel my mind slipping! Fragmenting! I'll become one of them! You have to get away from me! No! I will not leave you here! It's pointless! We share the fate! This is our end! The great... No! No! It's happening! Sarok, run! Turn of events. What? What happened? This? Did they have anything of value? I see no one, and yet I can feel a presence. But how? I should be the last. Is someone there, or? Ah! My mind turns against me. I must return to engineering, and make one last attempt to restore the power. Alright, to the power wherever he's going, we go. I knew I brought the right follower with me. It's only wise to bring someone who's actually familiar with these kind of conflicts with me. Uh. 
pretty interesting. Something tells me there's some kind of airlock that helps uh, get us out of the way. Aha! There's always a sneaker one. Here we're on the proper level now, I believe. Yeah, here we go. To give these phantom burgers some credit, they gave me a good fight that I'm not used to actually facing in the original game. So, props to them for giving me quite a fight here. But my biggest mistake is that I didn't have an auto save point, which caused me to start from all the way to the beginning. So, that's why it seems like this was a seamless transition. <laughs> so, but I'll give credit where credit is due. I mean, I might be a level 100, but you know, these guys put me through my paces. Go over here. This is Sirak Vetal. Post incident log. I am one of the few remaining unaffected crew on the Oracle. Nadine, Basil. 
Sira and Taras are the only others I was able to find. I fear it is just a matter of time before we succumb to this energy that is turning the others. How long will we last? And will my mind be strong enough to hold out when my time comes? Hey, our work here was not in vain. All right. Oh my god, look at all this garbage. <laughs> what a mess. Ugh. to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. Ah, finally we're on common ground now. Oh my gosh, I gotta go back down there. Oof. 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 for system reboot. The Vortex Phantoms. Where did they go? Something is wrong. actually essential to fight fire with fire with. Frame reboot initiated. Commencing protocol. Station lockdown completed. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. Warning. Station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to uh -oh. ensure personal safety. Jump in three, two, one. Execute. Oh no. Jump completed. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Huh. Well, how about that? Incoming transmission. This is Dasra calling the Oracle Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. Poor Sirak. So close to seeing their efforts realized. All right. 
My first gamer score! Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's get back to wherever this is going and see what's in store for us. Absolutely. Let's put this bird on the ground. Shall we? Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Please, we are not a threat. We are trying to help. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. I found your wayward star station in the Oracle. But it was lost. All communication ceased. There was no sign of it. Something clearly went wrong. Indeed it did. The Oracle is perhaps the least of our problems, I'm afraid. Boris, I think we need not fear our gas. Perhaps in this time of need. The Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. I like a man who speaks diplomacy. Your station brought me here. They jumped while my ship was docked. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great Serpent! It's happening again. Hear me! Speaker! We are here! We have reached out to you. To, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. What horror is this? Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please. Do not leave me in darkness. I seek only your wisdom, your guidance. Great servant, your children cry out to you. Will you not answer us? Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Nasco is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. <laughs> he sounds funny lost himself. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, None have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? All must serve. I, the serpent. I heard nothing. He said that? It is no joke. No outsider would know our creed. It is never uttered beyond this city. Truly, you did hear an asko. You have been chosen. Uh. People of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance. And he 
will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. You even have my assurance that your compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? Oh boy. The Serpent has brought us all here together for a reason. We cannot, must not, fight what is ordained. I understand that this is a great deal to absorb. Please take a moment to think it over. But House Varun cannot wait forever. Oh boy. This boy this guy puts me right on the spot. Although this is like my technically my fourth playthrough. Not completely. But I'd have to become a Starborn Gen 2. I also play this on a Steam version. But right now Sarah's my spouse and Andreja's not, so the fact that I've actually been through her side to discover what it's like to be her spouse or her promised. This would be so appropriate if Andreja was my spouse and not Sarah, because if I had to tell her that I had me and Andreja to be the promised, how heartbroken it would be to actually tell Sarah herself that I can't be her spouse anymore. <laughs> I mean, I did do a what if if I actually did that with Sarah, and her face was something I never want to see that kind of reaction again. So, there's a lot to absorb, like the guy said here. So, I mean... It would not be befitting to have any other follower besides Andresia with me on this quest because this is her homeworld and she never thought she'd get back so oh boy this puts me on the spot but that is my first impressions and take on the DLC for Shattered Space I will continue on more beyond this wall of unknown in my next playthrough if you guys did enjoy my brief introduction into looking at what this DLC has to offer Anyway, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a like or dislike, whichever you feel today's video deserved, and get yourself subscribed and with that post notification bell so you never miss out on a single video in the future. We shall see what this attains later. So until next time, have yourselves a great day, night, wherever you're watching me from. Peace.